Hey everybody, it's been a while. Um, it's been over a month. Um, yeah, so I'm back. Uh, this is at a request of uh, Gonzo. He uh, said I haven't done a video in, in a month and uh, wanted me to do one. So kind of, uh, I'll get into exactly what's going on in a second, but let me get into my shave of the day first of all. A new soap since uh, you guys last saw me for me was Katie's Bubble LMR. Fantastic stuff. Um, I'm going to pair that with kind of a new part of my uh, daily routine, or close to a new part, combination of witch hazel and balm. And then before I leave the house, which today will be pretty close, I then put the aftershave on. So i kind of let those two sit in as I do the cleanup, and then I splash the, uh, the scent afterwards. So I still have my astringent, just kind of added a balm to my daily, but it's been a lot of witch hazel in there. I'm going to use a red tip, I'm borrowing this from uh, Douglas Smythe. And now, the real, it's got a repair platinum lux in it, the real beauty of the shave from the Crazy Badger. Some of you might have seen it online, but with beautiful, beautiful handle with a Smoke 2000 knot. So if you guys haven't checked out the Crazy Badger, you're crazy. Just look at that finish. First of all, the craftsmanship is amazing, but this finish is second to none. And that's been soaking in my Crown King Scuttle. I'm just using that as my, uh, to keep my lather warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loading. I'll kind of say, talk about what's going on. Basically, I just, uh, I'm kind of enjoying um, what I've been referring to the last couple days as a sort of Brett Favre retirement. For those who uh, aren't familiar with Brett Favre, um, most everybody is, but just in case you aren't, the guy retired multiple times. Um, and it's kind of where I'm at right now. I just kind of uh, been enjoying not making videos, just kind of having my shaves. So don't know how often I'll make videos in the future. Uh, hopefully it won't be every month like this where it goes that long, but it's definitely no, not a priority of mine right now. So it's kind of where I'm at. Um, go ahead and I'm still breaking this knot in. That should be plenty there. Might only be doing two passes because I've been it's less than 24 hours. Kind of weird to actually doing it on camera again. It's been so long. But yeah, just uh, life's been good. My uh, my foot is healing exceptionally well. I'm no longer in a walking boot. The last time you guys saw me, I was still in the walking boot. Um, about two weeks ago, I took that off. It was supposed to be a week ago. But I just found myself around the house, not using it as much. And so, I finally, after a few days of about a week and a half ago, I stopped wearing it at work maybe a week ago. It's got to be more of a hassle than I felt it was actually benefiting me. Add some water. So LMR is very, very nice. I would not call it my favorite of the Katie's Bubble soaps. Um, did a week of Katie's Bubbles. Actually been really surprised at the Florentine Fern. That one is uh, unbelievable. I was also very shocked at how much I like tactical support. That was uh, gifted to me by uh, David Munoz. Alright, that's plenty right there. So this is wrapping up. Um, as you know, Gonzo was the one who asked for uh, a video because uh, this is wrap, wrapping up his, uh, I'm going to call it the week of the bubbles, but uh, he wanted the Katie's Bubbles week, so I joined in. And I'll be doing, uh, for next week, 
decided to stick with a the theme, I'm going to go with uh, uh, Cream Week. I don't use my uh, my tube creams and my tub, you know, I've got a few tubs as well. Just don't use them enough. So I'll be using things like AOS uh, Sandalwood, Tobbs Eaton College. Um, what do I got? Spike, Nivea Sensitive, Palmolive, stuff like that. I could technically use this K double since it is a cream, but it won't be in my rotation for that. Yeah, this red tip is uh, unbelievable for me. It's become my uh, regular razor or regular razor for me. Yeah, I was visiting Douglas, and he uh, we started talking about it. And I mentioned how I was looking at getting one, and he said, "Hey, he just handed me his one of his sides of my hand," and. Let me take it, try it, use it for a while, and return it next time we see each other. Very generous of him. Looks like everybody had fun at the Big Shave West as well. But yeah, just uh, the last month has been really, really good for shaves. Um, Kind of relearned a few razors that I haven't used in a while, like my uh, my Slim. Been a few. Uh, used to not really get great shades at it, but it's been giving me just incredible shades. Very very close, smooth shades. So but something's changed in my technique. I'm not sure what it is. But whatever it is, it's like I said, been, my, just, there's been a noticeable difference in my, especially in the post. Um, and I attributed a lot of that to the routine I've been using of adding in the balm. And then even the witch hazel as well, instead of just going straight after shave. Even though I have really good, what I consider to be very high quality aftershaves, just that extra step obviously has proven to be very successful for me. All right, go Cubs go. Another special request from Gonzo. We're just going to do two, but I don't do three. A little, a little thin on the lather, but it's good enough. Kind of in a hurry today, so uh, I know it'll protect me here. It's the other thing I've noticed too with uh, the Smoke 2000, the load behind the camera in my cabinet I've got my other my original smoke 2000 knot um, as it breaks in it slowly changes not just on the feel of the bristles but also the load required so I'm kind of in a spot right now with this brush where my original smoke 2000 was where I didn't like it the knot that is Because even though the thing's broken in pretty nicely, it's not to where it's finished now it is. And so the I get some lather inconsistencies when I use it. But once it's broken in, 
like the other one I have, there's none of that. It's super soft. And the performance all around is phenomenal. So I've been working this one in my rotation a lot more. Right, cold water rinse real quick. No touch-ups today. Part of it probably don't need any. Huh? Right here, actually. So let me hit that real quick. Alright, money. Good enough for today. Start with the witch hazel. But yeah, just uh, once it gets dialed in, like my other. Whether or not, be very happy. My head, hair's growing out right now. Last head shave was horrible. You can probably see multiple marks on my head. I don't know what the heck I did, but I did something. Really need to get some uh, straight uh, unscented witch hazel as well. Just probably go down to Walgreens for that or something. But uh, today it's lavender. But for those that don't know, the LMR and the Sweet Water pair phenomenally. Um, I believe LMR is kind of based off of, um, what is it, ADG, but not sure if that was intentional or not. Go to my bomb real quick. But they, uh, they're very, very nice together. Sweet Water is a scent that I love a lot, so... Almost bought ADG yesterday. I'll head shave again tomorrow. My head's fairly recovered, but and like I said, I'll do the aftershave after I get dressed now. So I let all this stuff soak in. Um, so the the balm's already going to do its work. It's going to hydrate my face. I used the witch hazel as the astringent. And so in about 10 minutes or so, after I get fully dressed, ready to go out to uh, church, I'll splash on the sweet water. So I'll do another little bit of a sting on um, the alcohol kind of feel to it where I don't get out the with it, witch hazel. And yeah, so that's kind of been my new routine. I know it felt kind of rushed. At least it did for me. Maybe it's because uh, I've been on a loop for a little while, but I'm out of practice. Oh, yeah, real quick. Got this. From, I got an urn um, from Nolan Kimber. He sent this to me. It was a PIF. So, beautiful scales. Andy Drummond uh, sent that to him. And we were talking. He said, uh, I was looking to get one of his blades. So, we just kind of little chit chat. And he sent that my way. Um, I sent some money to charity, to a charity of his choice. But, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, the other. Sorry, I'm just kind of thinking of products that I've really fallen in love with this last week, or last month since I've seen you guys, so I'm kind of rambling now. But another product, Daily Driver, that also kind of changed my post routine. If I don't use the Witch Hazel or Nighttime Shaves, I'll use that instead, or sometimes in the case of a balm, it kind of does both. And that's left my skin feeling really, really good too. So, yeah, between the Witch Hazel Balm, Daily Driver, and just a learning something. I don't know what I did to change my routine, but my face has helped really, really good. Even just the regular shaves when I just do regular aftershave afterwards. So that's all I got guys. I really got to get going. Hopefully I'll see you in the next couple weeks. I'm um, just kind of as things go with this is no longer, the channel's not going to be nearly as active as it used to be. Just kind of not where I feel at the moment. So see you guys when I see you. Um, if there's something you guys really want to see, let me know. Um, like this, like Gonzo had a request. Um, shoot me a message, whatever, see my sa shave of the days on Facebook or G plus Instagram and at, put in a request and I'll see what I can do. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. See you guys later. God bless. And thanks for watching.